A man has sex with his phone. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I'm lying on the moon. My dear, I'll be... Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review her. So Her is directed and written by Spike Jones, and the film stars Joaquin Phoenix, Scarlett Johansson, Amy Adams, Chris Pratt, and Olivia Wilde. So Her tells the story of this man named Theodore who is this writer, and he's a very lonely man who's getting ready to divorce his wife. And so with that in his mind, he purchases this phone, and this phone operates as if it's a real person. And so as Theodore is talking to this phone, he begins to feel a connection with this phone and it gets to the point where he and this phone have a romance. So before I review her, my guest star, Film Fan 0599 is going to be reviewing this film. So Film Fan, take it away, buddy. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review her. So, just real quick, I would like to thank my good buddy 22 Tiger Dude for, you know, let me come on here and review her with him. That sounds weird, but here we go. So, what did I think of her? Now, I'm going into her. I was really excited, actually. You know, um. I normally never get excited for romance movies, but, you know, I've heard a lot about this movie. A lot of people say it's really fantastic. Got tons of award recognition, so I was very excited to see where they would go with it. And it's, you know, uh, Spike Jones, who is a great director, so I was excited to see what they could do with, um, you know, this film. And uh, I gotta say, yeah, it's a really amazing movie. I really loved it her a lot. It's an amazing romance movie. The fact that it's about a man falling in love with his iOS, it's in, like, it's truly beautiful, honestly. Like, I really did love her a lot. So, let's get to my positives with the movie. My positives are, first being, the acting. The acting is truly incredible in this film. Joaquin Phoenix gives probably, maybe, his his best performance in my opinion. I really loved him a lot in this movie. I really thought he gave a lot of complexity to his character. I really enjoyed him in this movie. I really did. Joaquin Phoenix did an absolutely amazing job in the film. I thought he gave a really stellar performance in the movie. Scar Johansson is great too as Samantha the IOS. She was great. I really loved her a lot in this movie and this might be my favorite performance I've seen from her as well honestly. Like I really loved her a lot in this film. She does a really fantastic job in the film. She's great. And some other actors pop up here and there too like you know Amy Adams is there. She was great. Uh, Chris Pratt's even in it for a little bit. I enjoyed him for the screen time he had. So yeah the acting overall I thought was really great in this movie. I thought everyone gave a great performance in the film. The romance. The romance is amazing. If the romance didn't work in this movie, then the movie just would have fell apart. But, uh, but you know, uh, good good enough that the romance does actually work in this movie. It's really fantastic. I really did. Like, I was really invested into Theodore's and uh, Samantha's relationship. Like, I was really invested in it. And there was honestly, like, moments where I was kind of almost tearing up a bit because it's like, you know, I won't spoil anything for if you haven't seen the movie, but there's a certain scene that involves the two, and it's kind of almost, it's really heartbreaking, it's like, oh, like, oh my god, like, I'm really getting upset over this because I'm really caring about the this relationship between the two because the movie does a good way of making it, you know, really seem like they really do love each other. You know, even though he's a man and she's an IOS, it really does feel like true love, and I really liked how they presented that in the movie and how the relationship is executed in the movie. I really liked how they did that in this movie and it plays out as honestly one of the best romances I think I've ever seen in the movie. Honestly, I really do love how they execute that in this movie. The romance is absolutely phenomenal and uh, Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson have amazing chemistry with each other and it really did make you believe that they were 
you know, a couple and that they were in love with each other and they did a fantastic job of that in the film. Um, the writing is amazing in the movie. I thought the writing was absolutely incredible. Apparently, um, if I'm not mistaken, this did win Best Original Screenplay, and rightfully so, because, man, the screenplay in here is absolutely incredible. I love the writing with this movie. The dialogue is absolutely fantastic. Um, the directing is really great, too. It's directed, like I said, by Spike Jones. Um, you know, Spike Jones is an absolutely incredible director, and he shows up once again here. I love his directing with this movie. It's very well shot, very well edited. The cinematography is really gorgeous with this movie. I really love the cinematography a lot with this film. And the directing is just absolutely beautiful with this movie. I really love the directing a lot with this film. It's really beautifully directed. And uh, Spike Jones just does an absolutely amazing job with it. The music is really great too. I really love the music a lot with this film as well. Like you know, for a lot of the music that's played throughout the film with the score and stuff like that, it really fits. It does really play in well with the movie. And uh, lastly, the pacing's really good too. Now, this movie is slow, but it's the good kind of slow. It's the good kind of slow that's, you know, taking its time to really develop this relationship. And I like that a lot with this movie. I really like how it took its time developing this relationship between the two of them and really just kind of focusing on, you know, this relationship and stuff like that. I'm really giving it a nice build and making you really care when you need to care about, you know, these two and whatever. I really liked that a lot, so I did like the slow pacing a lot with this film, honestly. Overall, I think Her is an absolutely fantastic romance movie. Um, it, it's, it's phenomenal. I really did love this movie a lot. It, it's great. I don't know why it took me so long to see this movie. I really don't. It's a really, truly fantastic film. So it's time for my official grade on her, and my official grade on her is an A+. <laughs> absolutely deserves it, man. It's an absolutely phenomenal film. It's a perfect love story. It really is. It's an unconventional one at that, but it's amazing. It really is. It's truly beautiful and amazing, and I loved it. It definitely is a film that's truly special honestly I really did love her a lot if you haven't seen it definitely see it it's amazing so yeah it definitely deserves an A plus so if you guys have seen her what did you think of it Leave in the comment section below and I would like to thank my good friend once again 22 Tiger Dude for letting me come on here to review her with him and yeah I'm Film Fan 0599 and we'll speak about later peace thank you so much Film Fan 0599 for reviewing her so Her is a film I actually did not get around to seeing back in 2013. With it being Valentine's Day, I figured I'd give Her a watch. And honestly, I have to say it, I love Her. On paper, the idea of a man falling in love with his phone, it sounds silly. <laughs> it, it really does. However, when it comes to the execution, Spike Jones really really nailed it. And I will just go my way to say that I truly do think her is one of the most beautiful romance movies I've ever seen. And not only is it not formulaic, but it is just so original. I honestly haven't really seen something quite like this. I was blown away by the romance here because like I said, this focuses on a romance between a man and a phone. How it was done here was honestly beautiful. I felt really connected to Theodore and Samantha. That's the name of his phone, by the way, Samantha, who is voiced by Scarlett Johansson. I'll get to the performances later on, but I just want to say that the romance in her uh, was truly just something extra ordinary. I really bought into the romance and considering this is a man and a phone, that's, that must be really challenging uh, for Spike Jones to pull off, but he made it work. He made me believe in a romance between a man and his phone. And maybe it could be because despite the fact that this is a phone, Spike Jones managed to do a brilliant job of making this phone feel like a person. 
Like this is an operating system, yet it feels like a real person. And that's probably why you actually believe in the romance. And you actually do feel bad for Theodore because he is lonely, you know, as I said in the synopsis, he is a lonely person. Um, and Rooney Mara is his wife, the wife that he is getting ready to divorce. And you can't really help but feel bad for the guy because already when this movie starts, you already like him. He's a very likable character. And honestly, the minute the movie starts, you already want him to find love. Like you want this character to be with someone. So when he does feel this connection with this phone, you can't help but feel happy for this character. And to start off by talking about the performances, Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson, they are both amazing. Not only do they both have wonderful chemistry with each other, but both of the performances are great. Joaquin Phoenix did such a wonderful job of making me feel bad for this character, but also at the same time making me feel happy for this character. And uh, his character, there's actually layers to him because he'll feel this way, but then he'll feel something else. And it's something I can't really say because I feel like it's going to spoil the overall storytelling that Spike Jones wanted to bring, but his character definitely has layers to him and it was actually very interesting how it was presented he really gives his all it is truly one of the best performances by Joaquin Phoenix and that same thing goes to Scarlett Johansson wow considering you don't really physically see her the entire time and you just hear her voice she really does give it her all. She is 100% believable, she doesn't feel forced, and I truly do think it's one of the best performances by Scar Johansson. Uh, maybe even the best? Maybe? I have to really think about that, but it's definitely up there as being one of her highlights in her career. She really is that good, and I know back when this movie came out, people were actually talking about giving her the Oscar nomination, and honestly, I would have been happy with that, because I truly do think that the performance she gives, along with Joaquin Phoenix, I'd say is Oscar worthy. I think they are both in that caliber of being truly Oscar worthy. And there's other great performances too, like Chris Pratt is in this film, and it was actually very cool to see him. Granted, it's not a big role or anything, but I did really like seeing Chris Pratt nonetheless. I thought he did a very good job here. Amy Adams, I actually really liked her, and her part's not that big like Chris Pratt, but I would say that she definitely has more screen time than Chris Pratt, however. And for whenever she does show up, she was fantastic. I seriously think that she was wonderful in this film. And I just loved her character. I don't want to spoil what they do with her character here, but I thought her character was truly great. I thought she did actually serve a very nice purpose to the story, actually. Rooney Mara, not a big role for her here, but I thought she was a very good job as Theodore as well, ex-wife, I can say. Uh, she was really good here. And Olivia Wilde, um, shows up for a little bit, and I'm not going to say in, uh, in which section of the film, but she does show up for a little bit, and I did really like her for when she showed up. And I think the writing is so strong because it really does such a great job of having that balance of being funny, because there are actually some surprisingly funny moments in this film, and I thought the humor definitely worked when they attempted at it. The humor was very well done, but also the romance, as I already stated, it's wonderful. But then when it gets really, really dramatic, it is very believable, and the screenplay does a very strong job of making me feel emotional. Like, when I say emotional, I really do mean emotional like that's how much I really did buy into the romance but it really is just so beautifully written it's so original and it goes in places that I don't really expect it to go especially with its third act not gonna say anything more but 
did not expect it to go in that direction and I thought it absolutely worked. I didn't feel it came out of nowhere. It felt natural when it did go into that direction. And since I am bringing up direction, Spike Jones' direction here is some of the best from 2013. He really took me into this world. He really made me sucked in since the minute this movie opened. I was, I feel like I was a part of this futuristic world because this film takes place somewhere in the future. And let me just say, the look of the film is incredible. I just love the futuristic style to the film. The cinematography is some of the best I've ever seen. The color palettes are just so colorful and so gorgeous. The lighting, I would honestly say, is perfection. Every single shot in her is is beautiful. This movie just does so much that just left me in awe. The story and the romance and the cinematography is definitely one of them. My jaw actually dropped in certain scenes because I just couldn't believe it. And the music here too is seriously incredible. One, there is a scene where Samantha, the phone, is singing a song. And wow, it was so beautiful. Like I didn't I did not think Scarlett Johansson would have such a soothing singing voice. But in that one scene, I was like, wow, Scarlett Johansson, that's very, very beautiful. The score here is done by Arcade Fire, and the score that they composed here is so relaxing. It definitely does fit the more slower moments because this is a slow paced movie after all, but it's not like a bad slow pace. It's an excellent kind of slow pace, and it's really letting Theodore and Samantha's romance just grow. So when you hear the score playing in the background, it really does fit the tone. It really does make the atmosphere even more engaging. I really couldn't get enough of it. It is just so well done. Now, if I have to talk about little criticisms with her, I would say maybe the only thing I would say did feel out of place about this film was this sex scene, um, and you don't really see it per se, but, um, like, I get the point. Uh, I can actually understand the point of the scene, but for me, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I felt a little uncomfortable <laughs> with that scene. Like, I was watching it going, I don't think we needed that scene in particular. Like, I don't think it had to happen. I did understand the point of it. I just didn't think it had to happen. Chris Pratt, even though I really like his character, and I do really like his character, I do think that his character wasn't really all that important to the story like really anyone can play this role to be honest like yeah i did really like his character but i don't think there was really anything his character particularly served i would even say the same thing for olivia wilde who does show up for a little bit i don't think there was that much of an importance like with amy adams's character even though she doesn't have the biggest role in this film she did serve importance to the story but with chris pratt and olivia wilde even though both the actors were good really good i would say their characters just didn't have that much importance, honestly. Overall, I truly do think Her is one of the most beautiful romance movies out there. I was truly blown away. It's one of those films that's very slow paced, but it's slow paced in a very good way. They really do give the film a lot of time for Theodore and Samantha's romance to really grow and for you to really get sucked into their romance. It's so original. It's so creative with its storytelling. Spike Jones's direction is absolutely phenomenal here as well as the colorful and gorgeous cinematography. The performances from everyone especially from Joaquin Phoenix and Scott Johansson were just 
out of this world. Her truly is unlike anything I've seen and I am going to give it four out of four stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think about her? What is your favorite film by Spike Jones? And I want to thank Film Fan All 599 for coming here to review her. Uh, if you guys want to check out his channel, I will leave a link in the description down below. He's a very cool dude. He has a very cool channel. And if you want to check it out, like I said, the link will be in the description. This is Twenty Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have tiger power. Thank you.